Now that we have our castanets in our hands, let's start looking at the main elements of the technique for the castanet. The first one being the position of your wrists and hands. One of the tendencies we, tend, we start doing is here, we start to pull up the wrist because it feels more comfortable in the beginning, which creates a lot of tension on the wrist and doesn't allow us to work correctly. So one of the main things you need to think about when you start is round arms. Do not bend backwards on the wrist like piano playing, but rather your fingers come in and you're using that part of the hand to use your castanets. Number two is how high and where is my thumb? If you think of the castanet, this is called the neck of the castanet and you would play in here. Your fingers would play in this area in here. So my thumb is gonna measure how high and how low my castanet's gonna sit. So if my thumb drops, I'm gonna be playing right here above the neck of the castanet and my fingers should be there in the middle of the castanet. That means that we need to maintain a certain level of tension on those hands so the castanet doesn't drop and I keep them over, over there. In other words, you should be able to look straight down at your hands and see all eight fingers in there rather than here. Let's now look at the position of the fingers and the shape of the fingers. We aim almost to play with the tip of the fingers, bending them so that they go almost on the top of the finger rather than here. We do not play the castanets like this, like this, but curling the fingers and aiming to the center of the castanet or a little bit over there, depending on how big they are and how big your hands are, but definitely aiming to touch it with that part of your finger. So if we prepare both hands and we maintain that tension on your thumb, then we should have the correct position for the castanets and we can start aiming. We're gonna go with both fingers in the middle of your castanet, so they would look like this. And my castanet is hanging, is not resting against my hand, and the thumb is leaving me some space, and the castanet's hanging open. The sound of the castanets comes from the clicking of the castanets together in there when we hit them in the middle. So we're gonna learn the first sound, which is called B, B. And it's done with your dominant hand, in my case, the right hand, when you hit right in the middle once, and right after you hit, you open again. As you see, I'm trying to hit right there in the middle of the castanets. And we're gonna start as we gain strength with two fingers, although this can be also done with one finger. We're gonna start with two fingers. So just practice this with me. A sharp hit and open. Making sure you're not moving your wrist when you do it, just the fingers, and that you're aiming to hit right there with your hand. B, 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 B. The same movement with your non-dominant hand, in this case my left hand, and the castanet with the lower pitch is called da. So this would be da. Practice with me and try to only move the fingers and not move your wrist. Relax your fingers, a little tension on those hands so the castanet doesn't drop so that we can try to hit the middle right there and not in here. And just practice that with me and. <laughs> 